What we have is a, a polyphonic, fully polyphonic aftertouch weighted controller, which is something you don't find anywhere. You know, you can, you can have a look online, search for polyphonic aftertouch weighted controller. You, 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 you get to uh, there's one or two companies in the world that actually make something like that. But this is obviously a Rhodes as well, so you've got the best of all the worlds there. So I don't want to tell you how I'm going to use polyphonic aftertouch because uh, I don't have to. That's, that's, that's some secret stuff that I'm going to unleash on the world. But um, yeah, you've got a, a great velocity threshold here from. So there's a piano patch set up on the main stage and it's really simple, I'm just connected via USB. You can see it's just sending basic note information and velocities to main stage. It's got a good dynamic threshold, we're actually peaking the output there a little bit. It's working as it should, you know. So for anybody out there that's, that's wanting to use this as a control surface, a weight control surface, this is it actually working for real. And uh, we'll be in the US in, uh, from April to uh, do some shows with Corinne. Integrating the roads and a, a profit analog synth with main stage and a bunch of samples and software synths. And uh, yeah, it works great. Come and see the show. And uh, yeah. Best of luck. Thank you. Rolling? And we're rolling. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, Joe just asked me to talk about the roads as a, as a physical experience, which is something that I, I've sort of. Um, I'm keen to express to anybody out there who hasn't actually played a roads. It's, um, I mean, it, there's a community of people around the world who have, and, and everybody knows how it feels to actually have a physical relationship with this mm -hmm. something that um, something that a guitarist or a sax player or, or a singer or you know you know most musicians have a physical dynamic with their with their instrument. When you play, you feel if you sing, you feel the vibration of your own body, and it's a, it's a release about that. And you know, there's no reason why a keyboard player should have to suffer. A sort of a, a simulated, a sort of virtual experience musically, but to actually create a mechanical piano where the, you can actually feel the resonance of the, of the keys under your fingers. Yeah, you, you know, it's a soulful experience. Anybody who's played a Wurlitzer or a original Rhodes or whatever, this is something that you can't simulate. It's, um, you know, uh, I think once people start to, to actually get to actually play this piano, they're going to realise it's got all the soul of the original and it's a tighter feeling instrument it's you know anybody who's a you know a jazz pianist or whatever you can you can go crazy on this thing it's like uh, it's got all the dynamic range you need all the sort of attack you need from the roads uh, even as just a controller with a with a piano sample you're still getting that resonance well, obviously you can't feel this but I'm, uh, <laughs> i can explain i'm feeling the resonance of the, of the vibration of the whole instrument under my fingers here just like you do when you play a real piano. So, you know, that's, uh, to me, that's something worth investing in. You know, if, if you were to buy a, a brand new upright piano, that would cost you significantly more than one of these instruments. So, uh, yeah, that's my rant over anyway. Right on. <laughs> Thank you.